Hey, what is going on guys? Zebs here, also known as Hayden, bringing you another tutorial, and um, I'd like to start off with uh, saying that I missed last week due to the fact of uh, I wasn't really able to, lack of, lack of time. I was very busy last week, and things like that. Also, I'd like to shout out my friend Zerb, Serbs, Zerbs, something like that. His channel will be in the description down below, so make sure to go check him out his amazing channel. So um, let's get started with this tutorial. So um, I'm pretty sure this might be a remake. This will be in the remake series due to the fact that I think I've made one before, um, but I think it was very good since I've up. Basically, I've updated. I cool, cool. I've I guess you could say updated my designing style of how I do most of my things now. So uh, this one's more efficient. And it looks nicer on most styles and whatnot instead of just a certain style. So today I'll be talking about filters now. I don't mean by filters like your iPhone filter that you would put on Instagram or something like that. I'm talking like blur, sharpness, all this stuff. Um, I've noticed that a lot of beginner designers don't even like mess with this. Like they may mess with the blur, but that's about it. Or the um, the uh, glowing edges. But I mean, other than that, they really don't mess with anything else. Which I mean, they're really missing out on a lot of like cool features. Now, I quickly put this banner together, so it's, I mean, it's not my best banner, so don't judge it um, but it's a quick little example of what you sh you could do um, so basically uh, this might be a two-part series um, due, due to the fact that one of them will include a will need a plug-in and one this one won't so keep that in mind um, so yeah so the first thing you always want to do is uh, just select everything everything you've made duplicate it and then just merge it together uh, the reason we do this is because when you're doing filters, if you, it only does that selected layer, so you want to have everything in one layer, um, and we duplicate it in case we made a mistake, or if we don't like something, we don't just like screw ourselves over with it, where we're stuck with it. So yes, keep that in mind. Um, so we have our thing. I, I just like to duplicate it again, um, so I have an original. And uh, the first thing I usually do is I go with uh, some blur. So I go with some Gaussian blur. Uh, and I just set it kind of like a maybe a 1.5 and that will give you too much blur obviously but we're going to erase the S so we're just going to take this erase this so it makes it stand out a little bit more and then with that what we're going to do is lower the blur to like 80 well maybe like oh 50 50 all right, so after you've done that, what you want to do is just merge the original and the edited one together once you find something you like and you know you want to keep it. After that, what you want to do is get a, uh, go into other, high pass, and then set it to, keep, we'll keep it at 10, and then just click OK. And obviously, you can see, is, I mean, you could do something like that, but I mean, what we're going to do now that we have this like gray looking thing is set, just set it to overlap. And um, as you can see, it made things look a lot sharper, and it stands out a lot more. So I definitely kind of do this on most of my banners now, so it's a nice little thing. Um, after that, I like to maybe get a, uh, a noise, add noise, and then set it to like, oh, maybe 0.5. Just something small, not too much. It, it's too hard to notice on um, YouTube, but you might be able to notice it. It's just a little, a little something. Um, so after that, what I like to do is I like to go get a uh, distort and get a zigzag. Now this kind of distorts it, makes it all zigzaggy, as you know says. So let me just zoom out a little bit so we can get a thing here. And if I click OK, let me see what it looks like. Um. Yeah, I could work with something like that. I'll just leave it at that. That one just kind of, you want to mess with a little bit until you find something you like. Um, so there's that. Um, after that, duplicate it again. And we're, we're going to make a 3D effect. A 3D effect. We're going to use the RGB effect. Um, so on your duplicated one, double click it. And go into your blending options. And then advanced blending. And then you have your channels, the RGB. reason why it's called RGB effect. Um, but we're just going to uncheck the 
let's start with the blue. So uncheck the B to make it like this purple blue type thing. And uh, you want to select your cursor, your live selection tool. And on your keyboard, the arrows, the up, down, this, yeah, you know. The arrows, you just want to kind of move it to the right like a little bit, not too much, just kind of want to make it settle. Um, I don't like the blue, so I'm just going to duplicate it again and do a different one. So I might try out red. If red looks good, I'll use it. Um, I don't like red, so I'll probably just use green. Green tends to look good with blue. Um, you just kind of want to mess with things. So you want to make it very subtle, not too much. Like something too much would be like something like that, where it's too hard to fi figure anything out. Um, so you, you just want to have it very, very subtle. Like something along the lines of that, maybe? Uh, that's even too much. Like, oops. Here we go. Oh, my bad. So you just want to kind of make it very subtle. So something like that. That'll work, I guess. Um, so I mean, that's basically, um, that's a good start. I mean, a good start. That's basically something you could do if, uh, if you don't want to go overkill. The second part will be more like if you want to keep going, which uh, the second part will be kind of like, I should say, not necessarily things you need, but things that will really like, it's a heavy modification to the banner. So it won't fit, it won't work on all banners, but it, it, it can make some banners look very nice. So this first part series is kind of your basic things, no plugins needed, and it can really make your banner look nicer. Um, so, uh, let's see. So there's the original, here is the edited version. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. This one was a little bit shorter, but I, th I feel it was very necessary. It didn't need to be too long, um, but if you enjoyed this, this, uh, this, I should say, remix series, um, Leave a like and comment down below. And uh, this week's question will be, oh, who, hmm, what, what are your, what are your computer specs down below? And if you don't know, what are, what is a computer you would like to build, or like specs you'd like to have? So either name your computer specs down below, and if you don't know it, then just name some specs that you would want to have um, down below. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I'm Zebs, and I'm out. Peace.